A disused village hall in Hampshire has been given a new lease of life in a pioneering project to house the homeless. The Pinewood Pods in Borden will offer temporary accommodation to those most in need and help those trying to get back on their feet. The project to create sustainable safe homes has taken more than four years. It's been a partnership between technology company Velocity RDT, East Hampshire District Council and homeless charity Two Saints. With more, Cara Digby. What once hosted fitness classes and birthday parties has now been transformed. Ten pods each come with a sleeping space, kitchen and bathroom, along with communal laundry facilities. Individuals, couples or families that find themselves homeless will be able to stay here for up to eight months. They don't want to be in B&B, they don't want to be booted out on the street at 10 o'clock in the morning so they'll come back at 6 in the evening. We want somewhere that they can have as a, a roof over their head. They, it gives them a, a, a place for well-being as well so they can think and if I've done my job then the proof will be that there'll be people coming through and it gets them on the ladder. We do have a huge problem with people that have been sofa surfing where you know they've been in a family or they break down in a relationship. A lot of um, young people actually where they get to a certain age and then parents go you can't stay here anymore, Let's, off you go sort of thing. Um, and I think those are the people we want to reach out to. Here they've got their own front door, they've got their own letterbox and address, all those things that you and I take for granted quite honestly. So what we, we've got here um, is, a, is a single bed pod. Um, so obviously single occupancy. How are you keeping these pods safe and sustainable? With East Hampshire, what we've got and organised is, is that we put uh, sensors within the building uh, that actually can measure, monitor and check for mould levels, for air quality um, and also uh, light levels. Obviously, we've got intelligent lighting that's gone in. You combine all of those together, it makes the building intelligent and that's all produced on a dashboard so it gives the council and also the housing charity a great idea to see what's going on in real time. The accommodation is temporary, but with a homeless charity working on site, it's a stepping stone to lasting change. That can be support with um, finances, so you know, opening a bank account, learning to budget, uh, making sure that people have um, got the right income that they're entitled to. Um, we support people with their health needs, mental health needs, physical health needs. Um, some um, of our clients experiencing, um, you know, might have kind of some level of substance misuse issues, so we provide support um, with that. It's hoped once the final touches have been made, it'll be ready to welcome those most in need in time for Christmas. Cara Digby, ITV News, Borden.